Do you want to know how to approach people in your network marketing business? Well, I can help you with that. Hi, I'm Amber with Result with Amber. And I wanted to share with you a few different ways to approach people because it really depends on if you're talking to somebody in person, maybe over the phone, or if you're trying to reach people online. And if you stick with me through the whole part of this video, I'm gonna share with you how to find people to approach to talk to. Because if you don't know uh, who to approach, then uh, you're not gonna have those leads coming in. So the first way to approach people is like over the phone. And these are usually going to be people you know. Uh, when I first got started in my network marketing business, I actually had two people signed up and five customers uh, before the end of my first 30 days. And those were all people I knew that I approached through phone call. So I was really, really excited about everything I saw as we usually are when we really learn about the company that we have chosen to start with, right? So on the way home from hearing about all these amazing things in my business, I was calling people and I was really excited. I was sharing the highlights of the things that were exciting for me and just telling them, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is why I'm so excited. This is what I saw. And uh, they were really excited for me. They kind of caught on to that, that fire, that excitement, and they decided to take a look as well. So the first way to do it is really just call people that you know and share your excitement. When we're first getting started, we don't know all the right things to say. Not that there's really a right way to say stuff to people that we know, but you might be like, well, I don't know, you know, exactly, you know, how much I make in my third month, or I don't know exactly what it means to go on a trip or whatever it is, but you know that you're excited. So that's really the, the first way, that first contact when you're first getting started is show up with enthusiasm and share what it is that you saw that made you excited. And really when you're talking to anybody, uh, when it gets to the point of a phone call, when you're sharing the things that you're excited about, that's going to really be what makes somebody intrigued and curious about what it is that you're doing. Now, if you're talking to somebody in real life, and maybe these are people that you don't know, um, maybe you're at a coffee shop or a restaurant, or you just happen to talk to somebody in the bathroom. I know several folks that I've worked with who have found other people for their business or customers by having a conversation at the sink, washing their hands. And really it's, this part is about listening to what the other folks are saying. Now, sometimes you have to start the conversation, right? Oh, you have really beautiful nails. I really like your hairstyle. That's a really beautiful dress. I mean, these are things that women tend to say. Uh, for, for men, it might be a little bit different. Um, but starting the conversation, kind of breaking that awkward silence and having a conversation with them. Usually, if you're part of network marketing, you're what people call the product of the product, meaning you take and you use whatever product or service it is that you offer, right? And you can have a conversation around that. So it's really about starting out and being conversational, breaking the ice, and then having a natural lead into the business. Now, if you're like me, you might be like, Amber, it never feels natural for me to talk about my business. And I get that. Uh, sometimes it feels like you're being pushy or salesy. But the same thing when you're talking about, you know, movies that you enjoy or restaurants that you recommend. It doesn't feel pushy or salesy when you're recommending something, right? And people are usually really happy with a recommendation, but if you can take it a step farther and offer them something like a sample or a free consultation, if it's a service, these are things that you can do to add value to the conversation and have people walk away knowing that not only did they get a recommendation, but they're going to expect you to kind of follow up with them. Hey, I'll, I'll get you that sample or uh, let's sit down and have a consultation. And that's really a, a natural way to move in. Now, what if you're on social media and if you're like me, you see a lot of people who are talking, you know, oh, I hate getting, you know, private message from people and they're so icky and salesy and I hate it and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I see that, trust me, I get it. I see that on the, the social media platforms all the time of people complaining about the way folks reach out. Now, if if you're somebody who's really like hesitant to do that, I get it. But some ways that you can reach out to people, again, make it a little conversational. 
don't jump right in with, hey, I saw that you had a post and, you know, you have really bad acne and I have something that might help with that. Eh, I would not approach somebody in real life that way. I certainly wouldn't approach somebody on the internet that way. Now, let's see if they had a question around it. Oh, man, I have all these wrinkles and I, I'm really starting to feel my age. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm, what do you guys use? Well, that's a, an appropriate time to go in and say, hey, I saw you ask this question and I have something that I can recommend. I always do this in private message because you never know who's reading, who's going to add some of their own little context to it or whatever. Just have a private message with them. If they say no, it's okay. If they say yes, you know, maybe you, you go forward with some information, a video, a free sample, something like that. Um, but you start the conversation if you see somebody seeking for seeking information that way. Now, what if you see somebody who just posted a picture and maybe you want to see if they're open to giving your product or service a try? What do you do? <laughs> go into their, their, their DMs, right? Start off with, hey, I know this might be weird or I know this is out of the blue. Something that kind of explains that it's awkward, right? Because it is awkward when you get a random person sending you a message. But I saw your post about whatever it is. And so you're moving into the second piece of what it is that you're seeing their post about. And then you can go into something around um, a, a, a connection point, okay? Uh, I saw your post about this in, you know, the skincare group. And I... Uh, think that this might be something that you might be open to trying. You look like somebody who's, uh, you know, super enthusiastic about trying new products. You're open to new things, whatever it is. And then you move into the next piece that is the offer. Now, the offer of asking if they're open. So you can start with asking if they're open to giving it a try. And here's your offer. Okay, so starting with approaching people on uh, on social media recognize that it's awkward because it is explain how you found them and that connection point with them then go in for the ask of if they're open to giving it a try and always say you know if not it's it's okay no problem no worries uh because you're going to be asking a lot of people this and if they're not open you don't want to try and force it because once you start forcing something it it makes it really inauthentic uh, and that's where you get all these people who are mad and angry about, you know, all these weird DMs. So don't do that. So let's go over this again. On the phone, uh, when you're starting out uh, and, and you're just, you know, calling people that you know. Enthusiasm, ignorance on fire is um, something that I heard. But it's basically just, here are the things that I saw. And this is why I'm enthusiastic about it. This is why I'm super excited and why I think it might be right for you. Uh, when you're talking to people in real life. Start out with a conversation and, and open that conversation because sometimes people just don't have, they might have this question, oh my gosh, she's got great skin, but they're not going to say it out loud. Some people are just not like that. That's okay. Uh, you start the conversation and then find a way to naturally bring it around to whatever your product, service, business opportunity is, okay? And then the third thing is on social media, recognize that it's weird recognize that there is a connection point that you didn't just like type a name in the the search bar and start messaging everybody with that name and then ask them if they're open and be okay with a no that's the biggest thing is be okay with a no because you're going to be talking to so many people it doesn't matter at the beginning of this video i did say if you stick around you're going to uh get something from me and i promise it's coming uh, if you go to my website, resultwithamber.com, you are going to find my 13 sources of free leads. Now, these are, if you don't know who to talk to, if you don't know where to find people in, uh, to slide into their DMs, that's <laughs> a, a, a terrible uh, phrase, but if you don't know how to find people, where to go to talk to people, go to my website and download my 13 sources of free leads. This is gonna give you a whole bunch of ideas of where to go to find people who might be open to taking a look at your product, service, or opportunity.